how long can you hold your breath? Welcome to Vertigo. In this episode, we will be exploring the tragic drowning of Audrey Mest at the age of 28 on October 12, 2002. Mest was a French world record setting freediver and was married to Francisco Pepin Ferreras, who some people believe murdered her. Is it possible that Pepin purposely and deliberately prevented Audrey from reaching the surface? Or is this simply a tragic accident in an extremely dangerous sport? So sit back, turn off the lights, and let's take a look at the awful and tragic death of Audrey Mest. Audrey Mest was born in Saint-Denis, a commune in the northern suburbs of Paris, France. She began swimming when she was still a baby and won a gold medal in a 25 meter swimming competition at only age 2. She became a seasoned scuba diver by age 13, but did not get full certification until her 16th birthday, due to French law. She eventually studied marine biology at a university in La Paz, Mexico. In 1996, her interest in underwater sports led her to meeting freediver Pepin Ferreras. They immediately developed a relationship and Mest soon moved to Miami, Florida to live with Pepin. There, she took up serious freediving and with Pepin as her instructor, was soon reaching record depths. Freediving is a form of underwater diving that relies on holding your breath until resurfacing rather than using a breathing apparatus such as scuba gear. The type of freediving that Pepin and Audrey participated in is known as No Limits Freediving or No Limits Apnea. In this event, the freediver descends with a heavy metal bar or sled. The diver will hold on to the metal bar and can reach depths of several hundred feet. They will then use an air tank and inflatable bag that will bring the diver to the surface as rapidly as possible. The entire dive can take several minutes. It is extremely dangerous and has claimed the lives of several divers. In 1999, Pepin and Audrey were married. Now in his late 30s, Pepin started to suffer blackouts in his dives due to the metabolic stress they caused. In January of 2000, Pepin attempted his deepest dive ever, 535 feet. During his ascent, Pepin suffered from a blackout that left him unconscious for more than a minute and invalidated the dive. As he was unable to participate in freediving to the degree he had as a younger man, he began to train Audrey more intensely in no limits apnea. In the year 2000, she broke the female world record by freediving to a depth of 410 feet on a single breath of air. When your mind is ready and when you can do something with your mind, then you can do it with the body. The body will follow your mind. And my mind is very ready. A year later, she broke her own record by descending to 427 feet. On August 17, 2002, a freediver by the name of Tanya Streeter attempted to break Audrey's world record by diving to a depth of 525 feet. She packed in enough air to last the 3 to 4 minutes the dive was expected to take, and then she was descending. After 30 seconds, she reached a depth of about 45 meters, which is just under 150 feet. Suddenly, at 110 meters, or 360 feet, she stopped the sled as she was having difficulty with the pressure. She had a decision to make, to stop now or to continue the dive. After pausing for 8 seconds, she decides to keep going. Finally, she hits the target depth of 525 feet. As of this moment, Tanya has been underwater for over 2 minutes without air. All she has to do now is to grab onto the lift bag and pull the pin to send herself shooting to the surface at an incredible rate of speed. However, Tanya is actually suffering from nitrogen narcosis, 
and instead of pulling the pin, she actually blows a kiss to the open sea. She spends a few precious seconds trying to figure out where she is and what is going wrong when she finally remembers to pull the pin and rockets to the surface. The narcosis cost her 17 critical seconds. However, Tanya reaches the surface after about three and a half minutes underwater, and the world record is hers. On October 12, 2002, Audrey attempted to break the 525 feet no limits freediving world record that Streeter had established a few weeks earlier. It was a stormy and dreary day in the Dominican Republic, and witnesses say that Audrey was very withdrawn and was not her normal self. The dive did not appear to be well planned, as Audrey had only two safety divers with her, compared to the 16 that Streeter had when she had broken the world record. Witnesses have also said that Pepin was keeping people away from the tank and airbag that was to bring Audrey back to the surface, saying to leave it alone and that he had already filled it. Audrey packed enough air for the three and a half minute dive, received a kiss from Pepin, and took her final breath. She descended. 10 meters. Thirty meters. Fifty meters. One hundred meters. At one minute and forty two seconds, Audrey's sled reached the bottom of the line, five hundred and sixty feet deep. Then, disaster. She opens the tank that is supposed to fill the bag with air, and Nothing happens. The safety diver, recognizing the danger Audrey is in, immediately uses one of his regulators to attempt to inflate the bag. Audrey begins to ascend, but at a rate that is far too slow. When the clock hits three minutes, the people on the surface start to worry. Audrey is nowhere to be seen. Pepin starts to panic. It takes him about one minute to get on some scuba gear. At a depth of 406 feet, one of the two safety divers finds Audrey drifting. She has now been underwater without air for over four minutes. She is in blackout. He grabs Audrey and starts to ascend with her as fast as possible. The lift bag gets to the surface at about the four and a half minute mark, but without Audrey, the people on the surface now know something has gone horribly wrong. The safety diver with Audrey is only able to get to a depth of 300 feet, but he can go no further. He has no choice but to stop here or risk his own life due to compression. His only option is to wait and hope someone finds him and Audrey. Six and a half minutes have passed. Finally, with his scuba gear on, Pepin reaches the safety diver and grabs Audrey and rushes her to the surface. He finally surfaces with Audrey after she has been without air for 8 minutes and 38 seconds. Inexplicably, 
Pepin attempts to resuscitate Audrey in the water instead of getting her into a boat. Another minute passes. When she was finally lifted into the boat, it's discovered that the doctor on standby was not a medical doctor, but was actually a dentist. Witnesses say she had a pulse, but without a true doctor on site, there was nothing more that could be done. Despite the efforts to perform CPR, Audrey never regained consciousness and was later pronounced dead. Audrey's death was caused by a lack of air in the tank that was supposed to inflate the airbag. Witnesses say Pepin was responsible for filling the tank, and nobody ever double checked it because Pepin would not allow it. Accusations directed at Pepin exploded on the internet, many of whom believe Pepin intentionally killed Audrey. Others say Pepin himself could have died in the extremely risky dive he made attempting to bring Audrey to the surface. One of the more intriguing theories is from Carlos Serra, who wrote a book theorizing that this was a publicity stunt engineered by Pepin. The plan was to deprive Audrey of air and then perform a dramatic rescue that would make headlines everywhere. The plan failed when he was unable to bring Audrey to the surface in time. Pepin has repeatedly and emphatically denied any wrongdoing in her death. In the Dominican Republic, only a family member can launch an investigation into a death such as this, and neither Pepin nor Audrey's parents did so. Therefore, there was never a true investigation into the drowning of Audrey Mest. Pepin went on to marry a Canadian South Beach model known in the diving world as Nina Ferreras. Pepin has reportedly trained her to hold her breath past a depth of 100 feet in order to shoot fish. We can only hope that she does not suffer a similar fate. To this day, Tanya Streeter still holds the world record in No Limits Freediving. Thank you for watching. Until next time, good night.